treacherous reception for the Indian team as they're introduced. They have the inside running here. And uh, if they don't win it, it won't be from lack of effort on the part of the crowd. Jamaica, second from the inside. Oral Thompson to lead off for the Jamaican Spence, Robertson and Cunningham to run the subsequent legs for Jamaica. England, which has produced so many great 4x4 teams and contributed to so many great British teams. Conrad Williams, Nick Levy, Richard Yates and Robert Tobin running for England. Bahamas right in this. Uh, they had two finalists in the men's individual 400. Uh, Andretti Bain, who just missed the final, is not running here. I'm not sure whether he's left or whether he's injured, but he would have strengthened the team further. Here are the Aussies. Yes, here's Joel Milburn, who uh, had a rest in the heat uh, in this event, and he's come through. Ben Offerens is actually um, not performing in this 4x4 tonight, mainly because he hasn't really been well going this event. So we've got Joel Milburn as the first runner, Kevin Moore as the second runner, Brendan Cole third, and Sean Rowe will be bringing us home fourth runner. But I have to say, Tim, I think probably the favourite going in this, I did call it in the women's, didn't get it quite right, but um, might put five, a little bit of money on this. I think Kenya is going to be very difficult to beat. And for our, all our viewers at home, um, the last runner for Kenya is Mutai, who end up just beating Sean Rowe in the 400 metre final. Well, it could be a rematch because Sean Rowe is anchoring Australia. And wouldn't that be something if they were shooting it out on the last leg of this last event at the track and field competition at these Commonwealth Games of 2010? We've got to remember that a few of these athletes have done rounds through through these championships and you know it's been pretty difficult conditions so they would they would really it's going to come down to the ones the tough ones the ones that have done that hard training to be able to back up and and do another yet another hard 400 meters so up they come Botswana the outside followed by Wales Kenya Australia in adjacent lanes Australia right in this with a chance. Joel Milburn, Kevin Moore, Brendan Cole, Sean Rowe. Not quite the team we would have imagined at the start of the games. Let's hope they can fly the flag here. Last event in track and field is delayed. Like quite yes. a few that have gone before over the last week. Yes, Joel Milburn actually put his hand up there because, because of the noise of the crowd. The last thing you need is a full start and a four by four. It was a pretty smart move. It is difficult because uh, we've got a massive crowd here tonight and they need to learn just to be a little bit quiet at the start. Is Kenya the fastest qualifier? 303.66, but this is the final and everyone is giving it all they've got. Tremendous crowd in on this last night. Crowds have built up as the track and field competition has worn on and let's hope we get a fitting climax here and it'd be nice to see India involved in it Sir. away Botswana on the outside slow Wales then Kenya then Joel Milburn for Australia then it's Bahamas, England, Jamaica and India on the inside. This long stagger and the margin between the outside and inside divisions as they go through the 200 metre point is 50 to 60 metres. It's always difficult to see who's actually winning at this stage because there is a massive stagger and as you'll see when they pass the baton to the second runners, it can make a big difference and Joel's really kicking home here and that's what he needs to do. He needs to set it up for the Australian team to make sure that they can get up there in the top two or three. Good first leg by Botswana on the outside. Milburn finished better of that leading division and England came on strongly in the last 50 metres. Conrad Williams came from nowhere and all of a sudden it's England, Australia 1-2 and Bahamas in fact working through on the inside of Kevin Moore running the second leg for Australia. Now Kenya getting into it too. So the heavies are there. England, Bahamas, Kenya, Australia, Botswana, the race on. 
Kevin's got to really hold his position here. This is his first experience at a Commonwealth Games and at this level he's only 19 years old but he's just got to make sure that they don't get too far away from him. So coming down to the second change and Bahamas have opened a nice gap. Second leg run by Michael Matthew, who was one of their 400 finalists. Good change by the Australians. And scampering away with the baton is Brendan Cole. And the Aussies are right there. Bahamas, Australia, England, Kenya, Botswana and Wales. And now Jamaica getting into it too. Seven of the eight are right there in contention. Robertson of Jamaica running a frenzied first 200 metres as Australia get to the front. And this is a great effort by Brendan Cole, finalist in the 400 hurdles. It's an awesome effort by Brendan Cole. Botswana really slowed down that pace and he thought, this is my opportunity to go. And he is kicking. He had a fabulous first heat. And now he's bringing this home. This is very exciting, Tim, for Australia. Every metre counts here. Sean Rowe to take the baton. He's going to have five or six metres on the man who beat him by one hundredth of a second in the final of the 400 metres. Sean Rowe and Australia in the box seat. Australia, England at seven metres or so to Kenya, then Bahamas and Botswana. Sean Rowe is on fire. He has to just hold his form completely. He knows the guys are coming behind him and he just has to make sure that Mutai doesn't get anywhere near him because we saw in the 400 metres what a great finisher Mutai is from Canada. What a responsibility here for Sean Rowe. Probably running a bit conservatively to the 200. He wants to have something in the tank. It's Tobin of England. It's Mutai of Kenya. Rowe, though, boots clear in the straight. Mutai trying desperately, but he's not going to get him from there. The Australians haven't won. Sean Rowe yes! down the line. He Go gets Sean his goal. Rowe! He gets his goal. Kenya probably got the silver. England the bronze. Gold to Australia in the last event. What a great climax. That was absolutely sensational. Never underestimate the Australian team, Mel Gainsford Taylor. That was extraordinary. They should be so proud of them. They all ran a beautiful leg, and it's just great to see us.